look after the, the piano, so I'm here tuning early this morning for Mark, checking the 241 strings in the Steinways to make sure that they're, they're all correct. See, Mark is, Mark's a classically trained pianist, even though he's a, you know, he's a jazz pianist, but he's also a, obviously a composer. Um, and the classical training comes out in Mark when he's playing the piano, whether he's playing jazz or whether he's playing classical music. And Mark is Mark is very fastidious about the sound of the piano. And if if the piano is a whisper out of tune, Mark can hear it. There, right there, you pretty much play this. Nah, that nah. Right there. You don't even. And the later take. He composed Wind in the Willows. So I, I was working with the Hush team producing that and that's when I first met Mark. And I'm really just the second pair of ears. He's just, he's a wonderful musician, stroke pianist and it's just for him to have a bit of feedback as to what seems to work best, which musical shaping has worked best and we just throw some ideas around I throw ideas back at him and 90% of the time we come up with the with the right one <clears throat> but I'm sure it will work yeah the timing slightly different yeah. Mark and I have been uh, collaborating on and off for some years you know, for a lot of years actually. Yeah, we keep just crossing paths, which is really nice. Mark is meticulous in his approach, but at the same time he likes to work fast. And we, ha we have a, a fair, fairly general idea of, uh, you know, a common aim, aim in terms of what we're after, sound-wise. But you don't know what you're going to get until you turn everything on. The idea of the, um, of the mics is to give uh, in that case, about three different options. So they just give a roundness, but in you know they can be a little. It's a bit like the three bears. You know, it can be a little too hot, a little too cold, sort of just right. Yeah. 